when you fall into sin, the enemy wants you to stay in that sin. The enemy wants you not to be able to turn back to God. That's the enemy's goal, but you cannot let the enemy win. You are worthy of God's grace and forgiveness. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Oloba. If this is your first time tuning in, go ahead and subscribe, like down below for more videos. Get yourself a little drinky drink, some juice, some water, whatever um, floats your boat. And sit down. So today's discussion is going to be how I fell into sin in a season, okay? Um, and God's grace. Honestly, if, if you guys really want to break down my mind, I really believe we were all born with vices. All of us struggle with something in our faith walk. You know what it is. God sees you, whether it's lust, um, maybe you're dealing with porn, maybe you're dealing with homosexuality, maybe you're dealing with Girl, I don't know. There's, maybe you were a thief. You just you just got sticky fingers and you cannot stop stealing. You you know you're a liar. You whatever whatever it is, right? Um, in our faith walk, you know, as we choose Christ and we strive to uh, be Christ-like every day, it's up to us to deny our flesh. Our, the flesh. This right here wants to do bad things, right? Because if we weren't under, if we didn't have the fear of the Lord, we would be wilding out. I know I would be wilding out would be out in these streets okay i would listen been there done that not fun right so once you decide to deny your flesh and start living for god right you have to make the conscious de decision to deny your flesh and and strive to honor him right just like how you would in a, in a marriage right when you when you're married you're making a promise to 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 um honor that person to not step out to not do these things you're dating somebody right um you're you there's rules within that relationship there's boundaries within that relationship and we also have a relationship with our father in heaven jesus right when he tells us hey you know we can't do these things it's for our protection because a lot of us the soul ties that you're dealing with the depression that you're dealing with the generational curses that some of you guys are dealing with all came out of disobedience, right? And when you fall short from the glory of God, when you, if you ever fall short, right? If you fall short, I need you to be able to come back to the Lord. I need you to be able to repent of your sins because the enemy's goal, he wants you to stay in sin. He wants you to feel dirty and disgusted and he'll even be right here, right? He'll be right here talking about, you might as well keep doing it. You already fell short. You you already watched porn. You already stole that. You already, whatever it is, right? You already did that. You, you already gossip and stay a gossiper. No, you turn back to God, right? Because when you fall into sin, if we're going to be honest, right? You feel guilty. You feel guilty. You feel dirty. You feel like, you feel like, I'm going to just stop talking to God. It's that shame that the enemy puts on us. It's that shame. We feel that shame. Like when Adam and Eve ate of the, uh, ate of the forbidden fruit, right? And when God saw that they fell short, when God asked them, what did you do? They're over there, you know, trying to cover themselves and they try to lie to God, you know? And that's just human nature. That's what we, we, we tend to do. Even like with little kids, they, maybe they stole a cookie in the kitchen and the mama's trying to, figure out what's going on and the kids hiding the cookies, right? That's what we tend to do whenever we fall short of the glory of God. But when reality, we need to go back to him. We need to be like, I fell short. Heavenly Father, forgive me of my sins. I, I did this. I said I wouldn't do it and I fell short. And, and you need to pray for the Lord to give you the strength to get back up. That That is what God wants to see. God wants to see you genuinely trying. None of us are perfect. And if you feel like you've been in strongholds for a long time, you've been dealing with the same thing, you've fallen short for the long time, I would seek deliverance. Deliverance is an amazing way for you to be set free from certain bondages and strongholds that you may have. 
but I can go over that in another video. But yeah, you, you feel guilty. You feel dirty. You feel like I'm going to stop talking to God, right? And the enemy's goal is he wants you to stay in sin. Well, you already had sex with him. You might as well keep having sex with him. You, well, you already, you already did that. Keep doing that. No, you, cause you know what the word of God says, because listen, the truth of the matter is 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9 to 11 says, don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourselves. Those who indulge in sexual sin, listen, sexual sin, the world permit, permits pr promiscuity. The world is permitting you to be a, a pr promoting you to be a city girl, but that goes against the word of God, right? Worship idols, commit adultery, male prostitutes, practice homosexuality, or are thieves, or greedy people, or drunkards, right? Drunkards, abusive, cheap people. None of these will inherit the kingdom of God. Some of you were once like that, but you were cleansed. You were made holy. How do you get made holy? How do you get cleansed? By repenting. Heavenly Father, I fell short. Jesus, I'm a fool. I, I did this again. You just go back to your father and ask the Lord. You are made right by God by calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of God, right? Hey guys, I'm just letting you know that we do have new products that came in. We have our new prayer journals. If you are trying to incorporate that intimacy with the Lord, especially in the morning, check out our prayer journals. And we have so many options for you to choose from that best fits your aesthetic. And what I love about the prayer journals is that they actually have Bible verses incorporated and they're so cute. Okay. Go ahead and check out the link down below for you to go ahead and purchase one for yourself or for a loved one. They make adorable gifts. Um, and we also have a notebook version. Maybe you don't want the uh, Bible verses and you just like to journal. Check out the lined version. But anyways, I hope you guys love the new products. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So God wants nothing more than us. Our Father Christ, who, Jesus Christ who died on the cross of our sins, wants nothing more than then for us to just turn, go to, go to him, go to him, check yourself. You know, I know even for me, you know, let's say I have, I think something crazy in my mind. I got to rebuke myself. Sarah, you're not, you're not doing this. You're not about to gossip about this person. Sometimes we just have these thoughts, right? You got, you got to check yourself on a consistent basis. And for those who are stuck in shame, because the enemy, some of you guys, the enemy has really been taunting you because you really feel like you're not worthy. You feel like you've fallen short a million times. You feel like I cannot talk to him because that's the shame that the enemy puts on you. It's the shame and guilt to make you stay comfortable in your sin and keep watching whatever you're watching or doing whatever you're doing, right? But First John 1 verse 9 says, but if we confess of our sins, he is faithful. And just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all, all wickedness. And I want to, I want people to understand the significance of all wickedness. It doesn't matter what you did. I don't care who you were last week. I don't care. The God does not care who you were last month, a year ago. It doesn't matter when you confess all sins are wiped away. And I'm telling you, even whenever, when I had my shop and I had clients that were strippers coming in to get their face beat, I was literally doing their face, evangelizing to them. Like, you don't need to do this. You are beautiful. And some of them would literally would be crying on my chair, like literally. So I'm not one that'll judge people because I, I just want everyone to experience Christ. So I don't care if you were a stripper. I, the Lord does not care if, I need to stop saying I, it's the Lord. The Lord doesn't care if you, whatever past you had, you used to be the biggest Yahoo boy, I don't care. You used to be whatever, right? All who come to the Lord, all who re, who repent of their sins will, will be made new, right? All those who repent, because at the end of the day, we don't live forever, y'all. We do not know our life expectancy. So I don't know about y'all, but I am striving to be the best version of myself. I fall short. I am not perfect, right? You check yourself, but always go back to the Lord and repent and get back on track. And then if you feel like it's the same bondage over and over and over again, like I said, check out deliverance. I promise you it'll be the best thing that you ever do because you will feel like the weight's lifted off your shoulders. You'll be free. I promise you guys. Um... But do not let the enemy lie to you and tell you to stay in sin. Do not let the enemy make you feel guilty and dirty and disgusting and making you feel like you're worthless or you should die. Or you've got to rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. That is not my portion. My father loves me and he's going to accept me. I'm going to repent of my sins and I'm going to get back on track and I'm going to strive to please my father. Period. That is the goal, okay? Um, I hope that this video helped you guys who have fallen short 
um, maybe you're feeling unworthy, maybe you're, you're feeling whatever you're feeling, and just understand that everybody's welcome to the kingdom of God. I don't care what extreme, the Lord does not care. Come back to him, okay? I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.